Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of React.js. Today we are going to learn how to create user in Firebase with the help of the React. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that now I'm going to sign up with this application in React. So here I'm going to test account test and let's make last name to be account right and here the email test account at the rate gmail.com right anything you can make it dot com right so i'm going to add the password so here i'm going to add my password okay done let's sign up and let's see here reload this one test account at the red gmail.com it's created right now and you can see that test account and this is the part right so today we are going to learn about the sign up process how to create a user in the firebase with the help of the react in this video so let's see how we are going to create it you can see that i have created just a user and in the firebase at the same moment it's there right so uh it's all uh, the, this Firebase account I have already created. So if you want to create a Firebase account, you can just go with my previous tutorials about how to create the Firebase account and how to retrieve the IDs and all. Uh, by default, I'm going to teach you like how to get all the variables in that part, right? So let's see. Let's start. Okay. So let's go with the controllers. First of all, configurations files, right? So I'm going to use the configurations part. So here we go with the configurations. So let's go for the config. So here we have the services. That's far far base. Let's we have a config.js file. So this all thing that you required, right? So you know that all this all this necessary details you are coming up with here. Go to your Firebase account and go with this one project settings and the all this require all this data you will get it from here api key api domain and everything you will get it from here right api key api domain database project ID, storage bucket message under id app id all of these things or you can create the env files and get the data from here right so next we have firebase.js so this is the firebase.js which have all the functions that is called sign up sign in sign out send verification link okay so it will send you the verification process, reset password, update password, add user. So this, these are all the services that we are using, right? So let's go with the sign up part, right? So this is the sign up that we are going to use. Okay. So let's go for with the containers. Okay. So we have a sign, in a sign up container. Okay. So I'm going to open the sign up container, right? So here we are taking up the sign up container. Before that, we have a... Uh, sign up process so this these are this is the form that we have that is the first name first name that we have then we have a last name in email then we have a password right these three things we have and this is the button okay this is these are the prop types that that should be required that emails to be required and this all type that should be a prop type that means that should be a function requirement and that should be objects so all of this stuff okay so when i click on the sign up button okay so this is this button type submit okay when i press the sub submit button over here what happens let's go and check the sign up container okay when it happens it will go with the handle change button okay so when we are going to uh, render this sign up process okay so we have a handle change function so when we go with the handle change function this dot set state e dot targeted name and its value all the names with the values whether it's your first name first name email and the password it will set with that state right after that submitting okay when we have a handle submit right submitting we will go with the firebase okay we will get the firebase uh, set user props okay and all the data that we are uh, done in the states okay so here we have firebase so this variable come with the services with the firebase right firebase context okay so you can see that firebase this is already we know that about the firebase here we are using the sign up and sign up all this is the class that we have created okay now we have this context 
so with firebase we have a context consumer and with default firebase we have con create the context part okay so after this uh, sign up controller would come and here we are just firebase sign up process we have already created in the firebase there is a sign up and uh, which receives the email and the password then response firebase add user is a function then we will pass all of the thing that first name last name whatever we have email over there okay and then we will, will create the user okay and then uh, is, is statement if it is done then snapshot the data otherwise you will need to set the error that what exactly the error is okay so this is the process of creating a user okay so we have uh, uh, used this one right so this is basically the function is firebase dot sign up okay this function will help you to add the user in the firebase account okay and uh, after that you can see that the after the sign up there is you can see that there is a login automatically login and redirect to that what information you have put in down in the firebase it will show like this here you can see that your name your first name and the email right so after following this part you will able to add the user into your firebase account okay so you can see that right so any query any doubt in that just let me know in the comment section in the coming video we will do the login process after that sign out process these three things after that the email reset forget password everything we are going to learn in this coming series okay for the react so any query any doubt in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day